What's up, y'all? Danny from Van Life Northwest coming to you today with what may be my favorite van that we've worked on in the recent future. This is a 1991 Toyota High Ace ambulance. Uh, this ambulance is uh, the LH119, or sorry, LH129 chassis, which means it has the 3L 2.8 liter diesel motor and four wheel drive. The 129 has the extra long wheelbase, the longest wheelbase and cargo space for the high ace in this generation. About a foot longer than the 119, which is the Super GL, and maybe about a foot and a half to two feet longer than the Super Custom. Also has about a roof, the high roof that's about a foot higher. What's rare about this particular van is that it doesn't look like an ambulance on the exterior. Most all of these uh, LH119 or, or, sorry, LH129 or 123 ambulance vans is that they're painted white with a big red stripe, lights on top and on the side, so, you know, it looks a lot like an ambulance, which is cool, but I don't know, I like the subtlety of this van here with this bluish silver. Perfect for your camper build. All the space you'd need. Great alternative to a Sprinter. Still probably can't stand up in it. Um, standing height's about five foot. I'm 6'4", I've pretty much given up on standing in, in anything. At least any of these Japanese vans. So there is a bit of the ambulance build out left in the van but not much. Right there on the left is where the stretcher would have been. Right here, fold down seating for passengers. Storage on the roof, also a vent motorized vent, rear AC, heavy duty vinyl flooring sealed around the edges. Uh, the, this customer, um, this van is sold, so this customer wanted a little something special on this van for, for their camper build out. They're going to build it out themselves. Uh, but they wanted a diesel heater, so they went for this Airtronic uh, diesel-powered cabin heater. What's cool about these uh, diesel-powered cabin heaters is that they, you can tee them off the existing diesel feed for your engine. So you can have a heater that's fed from your fuel supply. Uh, the wires are loose if you if you hadn't noticed, because they're going to wire it into their own auxiliary battery. But what's cool about uh, what's going on about the heater is that uh, it's fueled by your existing diesel tank, and the intake and exhaust for the combustion for the heater is outside. And I can, since we're talking about it, I'll just cruise down here and show you the little exhaust pipe right there. So what that means is that, unlike running like a little buddy heater or something in your in your van, you won't fixate yourself, which is pretty handy. <laughs> Very basic AM stereo. Some of my favorite interior, this hard wearing burgundy. 
very clean condition. Let's go around the other side here. Excuse uh, all the noise, guys. It's a very beautiful spot to uh, film this van, but noisy and windy. guy is clocking just about 60,000 clicks. Do the math, that's uh, high 30s in miles. So very low miles for this thing. Manual transmission, five speed, uh, with high and low range. Runs great, we'll start her up real quick. So this van is sold, like I mentioned, but I do have another ambulance that I'm a bit reticent to sell because I kind of want it for myself. It's got 2,900 original miles. So that's ridiculously low. It's a 1990. But anyway, if someone's interested, they can holler at me and we can chat about it. If you haven't seen one of these high roof high aces, it's probably because they are very rare to find in four wheel drive. Most all the ones out of Japan that are four wheel drive uh, were used in industry and therefore, uh, you know, dented up, beaten up, rusty, and used. I mean, these things are 25 plus years old. This one being 27. So, you know, they've had a life. So to find one in nice shape like this is, is a great score. And I think the buyer, or buyers rather, are gonna be super stoked. I know I would be. I, I've, this one, <laughs> really wanna keep this one too. I don't know, that silverish blue just gets me. I don't know, little things like that. But anyway, uh, if you're looking for a van, something like this or slightly different, smaller, high ace, Delica, any Toyota or Mitsubishi four wheel drive JDM van, definitely hit us up. Look us up too. Um, I haven't mentioned it specifically before, but go to vanlifenorthwest.com and go uh, to our sold section. Our sold section is a great portfolio for the work that we produce with Van Life Northwest. So check out all our photos. I spent a lot of time on the photography for these vans. I must say, as you can tell, I'm an amateur videographer, but I think that uh, at least getting a quick video like this is worth something to people interested in these vans. So reach out, say hi, beat me on Instagram, Van Life Northwest or Troy Vans. And if you're in the Northwest, get outside. It's sunny. Catch y'all later.